These are my seven steps to looking amazing with zero makeup on. I have no makeup on right now. I have a really big casting today. I have been a model for over 15 years. In my 20s, it was easy peasy going into something with no makeup on. But in my 30s, I gotta put a little more work into it. But I have some tips and tricks and little cheats that we can do to make sure that we are glowing from the inside out. We are looking alive. We are looking youthful. Let's get into it. First things first, your skin needs to look amazing. And for me, that starts with exfoliating. I do not exfoliate every single day. But if I'm going to be wearing no makeup, I need my skin to almost look polished, which I actually just did. I used this Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. Like I said, not an everyday thing, but when I want this like kind of polished, shiny look, this is key. Weird tip, brush your lips. You can use a fancy exfoliator, you can use a lip scrub, you can do whatever you want. I literally take my toothbrush and I brush my lips because it exfoliates them, it brings the blood to the surface, it makes them look bigger, and you get all of that dead skin off and immediately you need to put on some sort of lip balm, so I'm using Covey's seal the deal. Let's go into skin prep. Need to do some sort of vitamin C serum. I prefer vitamin C serum that has THD ascorbate versus L ascorbic acid. L ascorbic acid really makes my skin red and irritated. I'm using Covey's Next Up Vitamin C Serum. It has more of a milky consistency and it also gives you such an amazing glow, but this is a key step for really glowing with zero makeup on. Next up is a moisturizer. I'm using Covey's last but not least moisturizer. You need something super hydrating, super whippy, and something that's going to last all day long. These moisturizers that you put on and then like literally two seconds later, your skin feels dry again, no. For skin prep in general, like we're looking for this super, super glowy look. Do you see where I'm going? I'm already looking better, but we're not done. We gotta do something with our brows. And like, honestly, is this makeup or is this hair care? Eyebrows are technically hair. Um, this is my new obsession. This is Brow Up from Iris and Romeo, but it really just gets the brows like up and in place. But this is a key step because if we can't do makeup, we need to at least make sure that we are looking neat. You can do this the old fashioned way and just curl your lashes like this. But if you put a blow dryer on your lash curler to make it hot, kind of help your lashes stay up longer. First, so if we're not gonna be using mascara, this is the little trick we're going to use. There, lashes are up and in place and I feel like I already look more awake. This next one might be cheating like this much, but it doesn't matter, it's worth it. This is literally like chapstick with a tiny bit of color in it. I have nothing on my face and I'm going to use just the tiniest bit of this, but it's important that it's like a chapstick and not a lipstick, like that looks like makeup. This just looks like lip balm, which is what it is. The night before something like this, do not eat something with a ton of salt because your face is going to blow, it is going to make you look tired, so that is a no-no. If you can get a workout in in that morning, that's great. That will bring the blood to your face. Like I said, if you're in your 30s or your 40s, like the color really starts to go. So getting color to your face like through a workout, I find just makes me look more youthful and kind of glowing. And lastly, if you're going no makeup and super bare on the face, try to make sure that your hair is a little bit done and a little bit more polished. I felt like in my 20s, I could get away with like no makeup and my natural texture and things looking crazy. But with age, like something needs to be kind of pulled together. So I make sure that my hair is like a little bit done. And that's it. That is how to glow with zero makeup on.